Have you ever pushed yourself too hard? Welcome back for day 48 of our 100 day writing sprint. As you can tell, I'm not in my typical writing loft. We've rented this cute little retro house in the hills of Tennessee, and we're enjoying a little time away from home, a little bit of a different place to rejuvenate uh, my writing as well as my own creativity. Sometimes a change of location is helpful and I hope you're enjoying it as well. As we talk this week about not feeling like writing, well today I wanna talk about when you push too hard. And I bet you're one of those people who has done it. You know, if you're like me, you're driven. You have a lot of goals, you have a lot of things you wanna achieve. I mean, clearly you wanna write a book. That is an amazing goal. It's a remarkable thing that you wanna do. And I'm guessing it's not the only remarkable thing that you wanna do. But this channel is for people that are busy. We have kids, we have commitments, we have jobs, we have parents, we have family members, we have friends, we have churches, we have communities that we're part of. And all of those things demand just a little bit from us. And that means that we're writing in the margins of our lives. And in doing that, sometimes we're the kind of people that can push ourselves too hard. With writing, it's no different. You can push yourself too hard in writing. In the last video, I mentioned that if you write 500 words a day for 300 days out of the year, you can draft the equivalent of three novels. If you are able to write three books a year, in addition to all the other commitments, you are very likely pushing too hard. I tell you, two is about my limit. It's about all that I can do, and I usually alternate um, writing books with writing other kinds of projects to change it up a little bit for me. But we're the kind of people that can push writing too hard too. Once you buy into this system, once you're really convinced that writing every day will make a difference and will enable you to draft book after book, you may get super excited. You may set a lot of goals around writing. You may anticipate writing a lot and you will. However, you can also push too hard. You know, we are amazing creatures. I mean, we can do hard things. We can do things that we didn't even think were possible. And maybe for you, writing a book is one of those things. But we have the capacity to really push ourselves and then push ourselves just a little bit more. But the reality is that after we do that, we also need recovery time. And that's true in writing as well. After you've finished a draft, after you've finished editing a book, after you've sent it off to the publisher or self-published it, there is likely to be a time there that you need some recovery. If you don't take recovery time, then your body is going to begin to demand it. You'll begin to notice things like uh, fatigue or apathy or a lack of creativity. Your writing will get harder as your body demands that recovery time. So why don't you allow yourself to have the recovery that you need? By allowing recovery time, by even planning for it, what you do is you enable yourself to sustain writing for a much longer period of time. Now, if you only wanna write one book, well, you just go at it as hard as you can. Enjoy the process, do it once, and then you have recovery time. But if you want to write multiple books, if you want writing as maybe your career or a side hustle, then you're going to have to build in some time for recovery. You know, maybe you need your rocky moment. Maybe you're feeling really beat up, you're the underdog, you just have to push and do one Herculean effort and win the fight. If that's what you need right now, then you just wipe the sweat out of your eyes and you get to writing. Prove to yourself that you are a writer. But if your battery is drained like your device, maybe you also need a recharging. Maybe this is a time when you need to stop pushing 
and pull back. Do something creative. Do something rejuvenating. Change locations where you write. It doesn't have to be a VRBO or Airbnb. It can simply be a coffee shop for the afternoon. That might be enough to rejuvenate you to help you sustain writing. Here's the point that I'm trying to make. When you are pushing too hard, if you need to push a little bit harder to finish the fight, then you do that. If you need to pull back and do some rejuvenating, then do that. But whatever it is that you do, do it with intention. Recognize that there are times you need to push through and there are times you need to pull back and decide what it is that you need right now. If writing is hard, there's a reason why it's hard. Sometimes it's hard just because it's part of the process. Sometimes it's hard because of external circumstances. Sometimes it's hard because we push ourselves too hard. Don't just keep pushing because that's what you do. Intentionally recognize that you are gonna push through for a period of time and then rejuvenate, or recognize that you need some rejuvenation time now. And whatever you do, do it with intention. Decide and then let go of the guilt of not writing. Let go of all the I should be writings or I ought to be writings. Let it all go. It doesn't matter. This is your writing. If you want it to be sustainable, then keep it fun and energetic as much as you can. And that just may mean that you pull back because you've been pushing too hard. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about the difficult topic about when to quit writing. Join me then.